Okay, see Lindelof videos. More shortcuts, trig stuff, keys. So this, I get a, a ton of question about this trig stuff. So let's take a look really quick. Uh, I hope you don't leave too quickly because there is something really important. And you know what? I care so much about you that I'll prove it, that I'll show you this first. So I keep getting these things. They're like, Lindelof, how do I do sine squared x? It's like, like, Something's weird here. Let's so let's go back and we say okay. Let's put it here. Put sine squared x. Hit enter. Oh, I'm missing the. And it keeps kicking me out because the calculator is not sophisticated in this very very specific way. So let me show you. If you wanted to say sine squared theta or cosine squared or cosine x to the third power, this is what the calculator requires to understand that. So what you'd have to do is this. You'd have to say uh, first of all, let's go to the trig key. You say, pick whatever one you want. I'm going to take sine because it's right there. And I'm like, okay, I want sine x squared. I'm like, shit, what do, what do I do? Do I put the squared in here? What do I do? No, the calculator, remember that sine squared x means sine, sine x times sine x. So what the calculator requires, or best understands anyway, most consistently understands anyway, is this. If I do that, you see what I'm saying? Because now I have the whole trig function inside the parentheses, which I'm squaring. So certainly this means sine x times sine x. And remember, that is what sine squared x means. So if you wanted, it, if you wanted to see that, this is how you would have to do that. Not to be uh, an idiot about it, but in the same way if you wanted to do cosine x, uh, yeah, cosine, hell, you can do cosine theta if you want, uh, cosine theta <clears throat> cubed. See, I put the parentheses on the outside of the function, and then I can go ahead and lift it to that power. So this is really important because people get kind of screwed up about it, but certainly cosine cubed theta means cosine theta times cosine theta times cosine theta. And the calculator most consistently understands it when we write it in this form. Also remember, please, that if I did this, if I took this out of here, right, if I, let me just do it this way real quick. right? If I took this, right? I'm like, all right, if I took this piece out and I cubed it in here, these are not equivalent statements. This says cosine theta times cosine theta times cosine theta three times, right? This says cosine of this, the argument to the third power. So remember, they're really, really different things. So God, I don't want to beat this to death, but I hope you really get this um, because it's super important. I think I might actually leave this video where it is, except for to say that when you want to use trig functions, I would get them from here. That This is where I would take my trig functions from. You, uh, of course, if you did type them in, sign, it'll take it. And remember that the way the calculator works is it's, everything is in italics until the calculator recognizes it as a function. So, look, I hope this was helpful. I try to keep it short, but... Some really important stuff that you can do with this. Um, also, I hope that you'll ask me questions about how do you solve trigonometric functions for specific values. And the way to do that is through intervals. And I'm going to make a video about that as soon as somebody asks me to. So, hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Uh, and if you haven't already um, subscribed, please do. Appreciate it.